<laughs> the boys are doing it. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. Now I'm feeling pretty good because I'm slowly, very slowly figuring out the conundrum between balancing quite a hectic work life, general life, and then filming reactions, right? Um, I'm having to be quite strict and focused with my time. You know, this is a hobby for me. I don't get any monetary reward. Um, hopefully that'll change in the future, but right now I don't. And I just love doing them. Um, I've made a conscious and very big effort to be more consistent um, more active with my recordings and uploads. And a lot of you guys have been really kind and say nice things about that. So thank you. I love doing these. I really, really do. So thank you for dedicating any amount of time you do to watching these. It, it, it really means a lot. And uh, I'm glad you guys get the value you tell me you get from it. So thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> I'm also excited because A Day to Remember have a new song. Now, I've been a fan of theirs for a long time, a uh, very long time. They're one of those bands that I just have like a handful. To say a handful is, is an understatement. I have a bunch of songs that are just my go-tos. have them on a playlist and I love, love, love their stuff. Ultra melodic. can also be quite heavy. Um, and as of late, I haven't really been following as closely as I have in the past. So when this popped up, I was like, I have to do this. Super excited. Without further ado, a day to remember. Miracle. Let's see what you got. Hey, mm, right back to the beginning. That kind of caught me off guard because I don't know why, but I was expecting something not as intense, not as heavy. Um, as heavy. I like it. I like it. Uh, something to listen out for, which is pretty cool. Um, I always try and bring out things that I think maybe are overlooked on a first listen. And if you practice that active listening element, you may find them. There's that. Doot, 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 doot. It's like that pulsing, that um, synth piece in the back. That's kind of on every note. Um, have a listen out for that behind the guitar and the drums. It's really, really cool. It creates like a nice urgency and pace to it. I'm ready. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting like kind of emotional. I'm not emotional as a person, generally speaking. My brother says I'm about as deep as a puddle. Um, and I'm not really paying attention to the lyrics. I always go and look at those after. I'm more focused on the music. And the reason I say I'm getting emotional is because between recording um, uh, the latest uh, Electric Call Boys song, which gave me those like kind of 2000 vibes, and then this, I feel like I'm 16 again. Um, this is remarkable. Uh, I miss this band. I miss this music. I miss how it makes me feel. Uh, amazing, awesome utilization of bringing the energy down in the verse with the, the you're going to hear it in the next verse, I'm assuming, unless they evolve that a bit, but you might find a lot of those pieces still remain. The, the delay and kind of echoing of those vocals after he finishes a line within the first two phrases, the sampling of the drums or the, the filter of the drums to make them sound like they're speaking through a tube like that. They've been recorded at a much more muffled rate so that they can build on that and step up. And then that clear and obvious predictable 
purposefully predictable build up into the chorus, which is a melody straight from my heart. I'm packing a lunch and a dinner for this one. Stop in there because I can count the phrase. Going into a verse again. That's not for something I told you about that that pulsing. That dun, 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 dun. It's actually been um, prevalent throughout the song. Uh, it's not. I won't say it's continually there, but it's there mostly. And um, <clears throat> what it does, it's like um, it's like watching your favorite series, and there's a continual storyline. It's something that ties it all together, no matter how far they drift away or increase the energy or if they um, have a potential buildup um, that makes something slower, they speed it up. It's this continual golden thread that ties it together. It is the um, supporting actor of the song or actress, and I am so here for it. If you could only see the way that I see Oh, I love it. Now, this piece that we're going into uh, stopped here for a reason. And the reason isn't just to hear my own voice, believe it or not. Um, go back so you can hear it again. Uh, the way that songs are <clears throat> created, something that I, I, I really love, which is like, um, I, I would phrase it as a post-chorus. Uh, I, I, some people will say bridge. I won't call it a bridge because uh, for me, traditionally, a bridge is utilized once. And not again, and it definitely sounds like they're going to be going into that again right now. I could hear it um, changing over. Is You heard it in the first chorus at the end. It's that kind of quicker hit on the snare where it builds up, and it's the short phrasing before it goes off into a verse or something else. Now, I am filled with anticipation and hope, and I'll tell you why, but I've got to clear my voice first. <coughs> Excuse me. Friday doing Friday things. Um canvas of sound just a wall absolute wall of audio the thing about walls is you can climb over them this is an example of where it is extraordinarily difficult extraordinarily difficult to listen over the wall around it can't go through can never go through uh, your ears have to find ways to latch onto a thing and i move around and visualize it to try and help myself with that i keep practicing i'm i'm, I'm hopefully getting better at it i'm not the greatest at active listening but i am trying um there's a lot of uh, fullness <clears throat> and placement of the frequencies. They're so smart. It's so full and it's so powerful and almost sounds sweet. And you'll hear guitarists sometimes talk about sweet distortions or something like that. There's a crispness and a rounding off to the start and the bottom of it. Um, th that is not to do with the aggression. That is not to do with the um, to do with the tone more than anything. And I love the way that this is mastered and, and edited. It's just fantastic. I'm I'm a big fan. Now, I'm hopeful because, one, you're going to get to hear that little post-chorus piece, which I think isn't done enough nowadays. I love it. And two, a day to remember have always been hitting you hard with the great riffs, great breakdowns. Um, we're two minutes into the song, a four-minute song, and we've just had two choruses. So my spidey sense is tingling. Give me a breakdown. Yes, 
Boys are doing it, man. Firstly, thank you for not letting me look like a fool with that prediction. And boy, oh boy, did they deliver! Now, here's what's gonna happen. Don't usually do this, gonna though. Huh, gonna? Let's go back a little. Let's find that breakdown again. Uh, we said two minutes, right? So let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, told you I packed a lunch and a dinner. You might want to do the same. Let's go 216. Let's go there. 2 and 16 for no reason. Not my favorite numbers. Um, don't really have a favorite number. It's not very helpful. That was insane. And you bet I'm listening to it again. Uh, one thing they do extraordinarily well is that tightness, that lining up of the guitar chugging. Shout out Palm Ute Gang. Let's get some Palm Utes in the chat. Um, quick little kick hits even though those are not um, defining or primary moments within that breakdown, they could have done it uh, without those, but they don't. They always include something a little bit special, something unique. This band, I am biased, of course, because of my history with them, but if you don't like this, you're wrong. <laughs> that's all I got for you. Uh, let's hear that again. The way they broke it down again, that's filthy, guys. You didn't have to do us like that. Going back again, you need to hear this. The W, I heard it as it kicked in again. Something different about this chorus. I don't know if it was on the other ones, and I'm not sure if it's because they're trying to build up to the end of the song. W it up on the vocals. Listen, high up, high up. It's um, certainly called it a harmony, but it's a duplication. Definitely sits in a high frequency. Um, have a listen up for those layers and try and separate them. That's the fun part. Man, <clears throat> what a song. Who else has done one to this? Uh, Nick. Nick's done one, right? So, ah, don't sue me. Uh, he's called it. It is this one, right? Yeah, Miracle. He's called it uh, A Day to Remember is Heavy Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. It is. 
You're damn right there. Um, great channel. I've mentioned it before. Uh, at the end of my songs, what I've been doing for a while now is I look, I see whoever pops up as someone who's done a reaction. Um, these aren't necessarily channels that I watch frequently, or it's just the way the algorithm works. Um, they, they, they kind of pop them up onto the feed because it sits within the category of what you just watched. So I encourage you to go and look at his stuff. I will put a link to his original video, uh, or sorry, to his reaction below, along with a link to the original video so you can watch it without me blabbing over it. Um, fire, fire, fire. Absolutely cool. Loved it. Um, I don't want to say they're back because they didn't go anywhere, not for me, but that is an incredible... Um, I didn't expect that to be that good. The chorus smashed out the park like they always do they're known for writing incredible melodies it's as if they have a bag full of them and they never run out uh these guys are these guys are phenomenal they they deliver every time i listen to them and i'm so glad to be able to take something that's a past love a musical love a very personal uh, musical experience for me and be able to put on this channel with everybody um and share that with you so i hope you guys like that one i loved it and i can't wait for more there has to be more let me know if there's more. So the next one, please be safe, be nice to each other, and have a damn good day.